Hey everyone, welcome to Mix It Up Art. Today we are going to be making a piece of art similar to Jim Dine's Little Heart in a Landscape. To get started, you're going to get a piece of white construction paper and I want you to hold it landscape style so it's wider side to side than it is up and down. You're also going to get a very thin paintbrush and some black watercolor paint. So on the right hand side, we're going to focus mostly on trees. So I'm going to start by just painting some birch trees, kind of starting from like the middle here. I'm going to paint a thin line and I really don't want it to be perfectly straight. I want it to be a little bit curvy and bumpy. And then I can add in some horizontal lines to make it look like a birch tree. And I'm just using the very tip of my paintbrush and that's what's making these lines so thin. You can even add in some branches if you want to. Any mistakes that you make will mostly be covered up. So don't worry too much if you paint something that you don't like because when we add in our heart, a lot of that is gonna cover up a lot of what we already painted, but we just wanna have that background there. Now at the bottom here, he had painted a tree. So I'm gonna do that here. Remember, we're starting out almost like a Y. I'm just gonna separate the two sides of the Y there and then come down and add in my other branches. And then from here, I'll just continue to break up the branches into little Ys using the tip of my paintbrush to make lines as thin as possible. So in this painting, proportions are not very important. So we're just kind of creating different things of landscapes. And as you can see, I have this tree at the bottom here, which is sitting beneath the rest of the trees, which wouldn't make sense if we were painting something that was realistic, but we're not painting something that's realistic. We are painting artistically. So you get to have fun and play here and make things different sizes. I want you guys to challenge yourselves with these branches to see how thin you can get your lines. That's the challenge. Can you get it as thin as a pencil line? Now over on the left side here, I'm gonna paint some flowers. So again, like I was saying earlier, these don't have to make sense in terms of size. But I am going to make a combination of big and small flowers. So this first one I'm making like a wishy, Next one, I might just use some curved lines going upward like an upside down umbrella. Maybe I'll do some small ones using curved lines going around in a circle like a rose. I want you guys to get creative and paint your own style of flower, whatever you like and however you want to make it. So these ones here, I'm just doing curved lines, almost like I'm drawing an eye. So I'm going curve on one side, curve on the other, and then coming to a point at the top, and then some small lines in the middle. Now we're going to kind of tie the picture together, and this is really where you want to make sure that you have a lighter color and it's not super dark. Um, so you would just dip your paintbrush in your water and dip it into the black to get your grays. We're going to add in some lines going all over the paper. So yes, we are kind of messing it up. I know. You're going to go at a diagonal line and you're going to go up and down. And I want you guys to be very free and relaxed on where you place this. Don't try to space them out. Don't try to make them perfect. You want it to be a little bit messy. So the way that I decide that I'm done is when the background kind of just all blends in with itself and almost looks like it makes sense even though I have flowers that are bigger than my trees and I have almost two bottoms of the paper going on. But when you look at it, you can't really tell because you have all these crazy lines going on. It just kind of blends together. So once I decide that I'm done, I am going to put my paint away and I'm going to get my red sheet of paper. 
and a black oil pastel. So with this, I want to hold my paper landscape style and I'm gonna make the heart about as tall as this is tall. So I wanna draw a big heart and we're gonna go back over it a couple times. And then on the left side here, I'm gonna make this line a little bit thicker. And then on the left side of the upper heart here, just as curved, I'm gonna make that thicker. And then what I can do is just add in a little bit of some small lines just in the middle. Just again, I'm using this very lightly. And I'm going at a diagonal. And I'm gonna use one finger and just kind of blend that and I'm gonna blend the inner edge into it as well. So once that's done, I'm going to cut along the outer edge of my oil pastel. And then I'm going to flip it over, get my glue stick, and completely cover the entire back with this glue stick. So now I'm gonna bring back my white sheet and just in the middle here, I am going to put down the heart. And that same finger that I blended with earlier, I'm now going to take in the center of the heart and I'm gonna push outward so that I get this kind of glowing effect from the heart so that it's blending into the background here. And I'm gonna do this all the way around, making sure to go from the center outward. Then I'm gonna go back and just make sure that the edges of my heart are nice and smooth. And I can even go back with a little more oil pastel. And then I'm just going back to add in a little bit more shading to make it look a little more three-dimensional by adding in a little more shadow on the left side and then a little bit more on that upper middle part. All right, everyone, that's all there is to our version of Jim Dine's Little Heart in a Landscape. If you like this video or want to let me know something special about it, please make sure to follow me on Twitter and leave me a comment under the video. And if you make these at home, tweet me a picture as well. Have fun.